Good Monday morning, everybody. Looks like we're gonna have another whirlpool day. We got in eight washers and dryers and one GE. Let's see what's going on with them. Got a match set. We gonna check them out. Let's see which one I wanna get started with. And I uh, just wanted to say thank y'all for subscribing. We're almost to 600. So if you haven't, hit the like and subscribe to the channel. Um, it's crazy. Two more and we're at 600. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna check the codes on this GE real quick. You put it at 12, press start, turn it to six, release. That's how I always do it anyway. I think the actual data sheet says turn it seven clicks, but whatever. To check the codes, you turn it one click clockwise or with the digital display, you can just put it on one and hit start and then every click of the start button will cycle through the last fault codes. And then it will put up two dashes and then it will re redo it. So check it out. Good Lord, how many codes does this one have? After you've written them all down, turn it to 16, and that's clearing the fault code history. Well, after testing the codes and everything and looking at them, I finally spun the drum. Clearly a bad bearing and gear case. Next. All right, since that one was a turn, let's keep going with the GEs. Bearing sounds good, we're holding water, but that could just be from rain. Let's check the codes. I think we might have a lid switch problem. As soon as I plugged it in, it locked. Mm. There it goes, locking and unlocking. Let's see, so hold the button, turn from 12 to 6. This one's all binary, so we've got to go to that light, and that's the error codes. Keep scrolling through. Goodness. Got plenty in this one, too. And that's it. And then it'll continue to scroll through. To clear it. Changing these lid locks is very simple. Pop the bezel up, press the little tab, slide it to the left, and unplug it. Boom. Voila. Put the new one in, just reverse steps. Plug it in, line it up, slip it in, put the bezel on, you're back in business. All right, we'll run a quick drain and spin, see what it does. through all this crap, pulling codes, blah, 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 and we get in a 1995 Whirlpool Direct Drive. Turn it on, it don't spin, it's got a bad coupler. Fix it, it's ran and sold. It's just so simple. All this electronic crap. Sorry about the rant, just thought I would share my thoughts. Nineteen ninety-five, new coupler fixed and done. So that was just a quick lid switch change on these GEs, but that's where your uh, data sheet is down there, so you can test your crap. These things, I don't even pop the lids up anymore to change them. I just reach in there, unslip it, plug it in, clear the codes, and you're back in business. So, just a quick lid switch change. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't, 
we're almost to 600 like two more and we're at 600 so leave me a like and subscribe to the channel thanks y'all have a great day